welcome we are having insight about the particular aspects topics of instructions which we have to undertake during the formal instructions of vedic mathematics as a mainstream discipline today we are fixing as that as there are 16 sutras and 13 upasutras and there are seven hypercube format so let us learn one value a day of these 36 reservoirs these 36 aspects topics as 16 sutras and 13 upasutras and seven hypercube formats together make out 20, 36 distinct reservoirs of values if we aim to have a insight about one value a day of these 36 reservoirs then we can hope that we will be in a position to be face to face with this discipline of knowledge the value which we are aiming to take today is a source value 6 now this day focus is going to be as that we are aiming to learn one value a day and then this value a day is to be in respect of each of the seven hypercube formats as well as the 16 sutras and 13 upasutras the value aspect with respect to hypercube 7 to 1 being aimed to learn today is as that these hypercubes are of four folds each then the ganita sutras and ganita upasutras or the words formulations text therefore we shall be having a pointed attention towards the distinct words formulations making composition of the text of the sutras and upasutras thereafter we will be having a further focus as that the entire text of ganita sutras and upasutras is availing in all 36 distinct letters it is this way that today we are trying to acquaint ourselves with the source value 6 which is unfolding itself yes the values of these distinct 36 reservoirs now let us have a glimpse of seven hypercubes these seven hypercubes are being tabulated here in respect of which we want to have a pointed attention of its value as four folds see in the tabulation in the first column we are mentioning hypercubes means hypercube 7 hypercube 7 being mentioned as hc7 is hypercube 7 and so on in second column is the symbol symbol of these geometric bodies and in the third column is mentioned the space of which these are the bodies hypercubes are the representative regular bodies of their respective spaces manifesting within creators of space means four space four space is a creator's space four space is presided 
by Lord Brahma, creator of the Supreme. The idol of Lord Brahma is of values and features parallel to the values and features of hypercube of four, the representative regular body of the four space as a fourfold manifestation layer, two, three, four, five, having summation value 14. The value which we want to have a pointed attention in respect of these hypercube formats is that hypercube seven is a representative regular body of seven space and it is a four-fold manifestation layer, five, six, seven, eight. That is five space is to play the role of a dimension, six space is to play the role of boundary, seven space is to play the role of domain, and eight space is to play the role of the origin. The summation value five plus six plus seven plus eight is equal to 26. Therefore, the value with respect to which we want to learn in respect of hypercube 7 is that it is a representative regular body of 7 space. It manifests within 4 space as a fourfold manifestation layer 5, 6, 7, 8 of summation value 26. Then hypercube 6 is a representative regular body of 6 space and it manifests as a fourfold manifestation layer, four, five, six, seven, of summation value 22. The fourfold manifestation layer, four, five, six, seven, of hypercube six is having four space in the role of dimension, five space in the role of boundary, six space in the role of domain, and seven space in the role of origin. Hypercube of 5 is the representative regular body of 5 space. It is a fourfold manifestation layer. P456 of summation will be 18. Hypercube of 5 is the representative regular body of 5 space. It manifests within creators of space as a fourfold manifestation layer 3456. Hypercube 4 is a representative regular body of the four space. It manifests within four space as fourfold manifestation layer two, three, four, five of summation value 14. One may have a pause here and take note that hypercube of four <coughs> is the representative of four space. Hypercube four itself manifests along the fourfold manifestation format of hypercube 4 itself. It is this feature of hypercube 4 manifesting within 4 space as a fourfold manifestation layer and as such because of the spatial order 2 space in the role of a dimension it is going to lead us to very rich domain of values. The creative aspect of a spatial dimension as such in the context becomes the ultimate focus. It is this focus upon the spatial dimension which is going to yield a huge range of values to which we shall be pointing at each occasion. Hypercube 3, our well-known cube is a three space body. It is a representative regular body of three space. It is as well of four folds, one, two, three, four, one space as dimension, a linear dimension, two space as boundary, a spatial boundary, three space as domain, a solid domain, four space as an origin of submission value 10. It is here where, in fact, the modern mathematics limitations are being dissolved and in continuity, Vedic mathematics takes up the unfolding process of hypercube 3 as a cube 
as a four folds and that way the continuity of the stage up till which our modern mathematics of linear axioms takes us to is being taken up by the Vedic mathematics by approaching it along a spatial order within creators of space. So Q as hypercube 3 as such is our focused attention entity. In terms of this focused attention entity, we shall be melting the unnecessary blocking categorization for the modern mathematics from that of Vedic mathematics. Modern mathematics and Vedic mathematics as such make a one continuous mathematical domain. The modern mind then insists upon the linear dimensional order only then it restricts and limits itself. However, when the dimensional order is permitted to be transited from linear order to spatial order and higher order, then in continuity, the features of Q start unfolding themselves. And it is at the center of the Q that there is a seat of a spatial order origin. For space as origin, having a seat at center of the cube is in fact going to be our starting point when we shall be having a melting of unnecessary blocking demarcations of linear order and spatial order. Then hypercube 2, our well-known body square is a four-fold manifestation there, 0, 1, 2, 3, of summation value 6. This value 6 as four-fold manifestation layer is in fact going to be the foundational format upon which the entire superstructure of Vedic mathematics of continuity of whole range of dimensional orders is going to be built up. And hypercube one line interval as one space representative body as well as the four folds. And these folds minus one, zero, one, two, as of summation value two, bring us face to face to width as to how our interval in fact is a creative body of four folds and summation value 2 further brings us face to face with as to how the artifices of numbers and dimensional frames are ultimately to unify and it is this unification of the hypercube formats for which we are going to have initiation in terms of the values which we are trying to absorb and it is this initiation of the value of hypercubes as fourfold manifestation layers deserves to be imbibed fully. A step ahead, the values which we have to learn today are the values in respect of 16 sutras and 13 sutras. See, these 16 sutras and 13 root sutras as is being tabulated in third column are the compositions availing as many as 46 word formulations. These 16 sutras are having a setup of 46 word formulation. Sutra 1, Eka became Purve is a composition of two words. Niklinna Osta Charman Dashika composition of the text of Sutra 2 is a three word formulation. Like that, when we will be having a sequential tabulation of the words formulation of the text of Ganita Sutras 16, 
and when it talks with our 13th, we will reach at value 46. One may have a pause here and it be taken as that this text as of 16 sutras or 13 of sutras is simply a composition of 46 word formulation. Therefore, the sadhakas fulfilled with intensity of urge to be parallel with the organizational format features of this text shall memorize this text. It is a short text. It is the text which can be memorized just within a day by having simple recitation of these word formulations. Once one will be having imprint of this text in their memory, then one will feel that really they are entering mental mathematical domain. It be taken as an exercise that one is to memorize this text. Once one is successful to memorize this text, then the bliss of the organization format features of this text will start unfolding of their own. The value which we are learning today, in spec of these 29 reservoirs of values, as 16 sutras and 13 sutras is as to the number of words being availed for composition of these texts. These words are 46 in all and the sequentially these are 2, 3, 1, 2, 2 as these are being tabulated in table number 2. Therefore, in this background, let us now see as to how the value 6 is going to be the source value in respect of which we are trying to have values aspects of 7 hypercube formats and 29 text formulations of formulas. See value 6, it is a Surya Ankh. 6 is a Surya Ankh. 6 is the placement sequence for Surya immediately after Panchma Bhut, Prithvi, Apa, Agni, Vayu and Akash are Panchma Bhut and a step ahead is a Surya. It is of sixth placement. It is as such being accepted as a Surya Ankh. Six is a Surya Ankh. Now, let us visit the formulation Surya. See the transcendental transcendence of this formulation as is being tabulated here. Three as the TC value of star and minus one as the transcendence value to elongated O the vowel and then. 1 plus 2 being the TC value of yaw and raw, and 3 being the transcendence value of the first level law, it leads us to value 6. Therefore, the central focus of today's learning is that we shall be face to face with this organization feature as that the first letter of the text is A, the sixth level, and it brings us face to face with the six. Then O is the formulation which leads us to value 16. Devta is the formulation which takes us to value 26. Paranama is the formulation which takes us to value 36. So C, 6, 16, 26, and 36 followed by 46 or the values which are accepting 6 as the first digit value. It is this reach, it is this fixation, it is this foundational source value which 
deserves to be imbibed the full sadhikas full filled with intensity of sad to be parallel with the organization format features of the mathematical domain and mathematical processes steps of vinita sutras shall sit comfortably and to be face to face with value 6 as we had pointed in the previous session 6 is the first perfect number as 6 is the first perfect number as such it gives further pointed importance for this value and as 6 though is the perfect number and though it is the first perfect number but simultaneously it is a unique perfect number as it is only in case of this perfect number that sum and product of the proper divisors of value 6 is equal to 6 and when the entire range of factors including 6 as a divisor of 6 are taken then the product value comes to 36 which is a 6 square therefore these features of value 6 be taken as the source value this source reservoir value is to be kept in mind as at each and every step each and every progression being attained for the the being within the mathematical domain of the sutras this unfolding process is to be always to be there with us now see when we revisit the text of nita sutras and the sutras see the blissful feature that this text avails in all 36 distinct letters therefore let me conclude that we have to learn one value a day but in respect of each of the 36 reservoirs namely seven formats 16 sutras and 13 upasutras this value 36 is of double importance as it is a square of 6 6 is the unique perfect number and 6 is a surya ank 6 is the value of the very first letter of the text of ganita sutra the sixth vowel therefore start compiling these values and in this tabulation note down that today we are having a learning in respect of these values of four folds of the seven formats and the number of words formulations of each of sutra and sutra therefore it will be a blissful exercise that one shall sit comfortably and permit the transcending mind to have a blissful recitation only out of memory of the text of nita sutra of the sutra this bliss is bound to unfold for us more and more blissful virtuous values of the organization format of mathematical domain of vinita sutras and it really with this exercise will become a mental mathematics of vinita sutra of sutra next session will bring us face to face with another value of these 36 reservoirs of seven hypercubes formats and 29 sutras and sutras thank you very much